Hi there and welcome to August 2022 Solar Update. So what's been happening this month? Well, it's been my first full month of being on Octopus Go that I joined at the end of July. And if you wanna see a video on that and me talking about that and the process and why I moved, then have a look at that video now, which should appear above or in the description below or in the uh, end credits as well. And also in the third week of August, I've also done something else, which I'm gonna reveal a bit later on in the video. Uh, but let's have a look at my system to start off with before we get into the stats. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Hub, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So this is the month of August. It's been a pretty good month, all in all. Um, it's been exactly the same pretty much as the last few months of summer, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the average has been kind of 25 um, kilowatt hours a day, which has been really good. But you might see that little uh, dip there on the 25th of August. Wow, what a day that was. Um, a really dark day with showers. Um, in a way, it was my kind of winter in August, to be honest. And it was a day when I knew it was coming. Um, I think production that day was something like four kilowatt hours all day long. Um, so I, I'm going to do a separate video just on that day, actually, because it was a kind of a, a simulation or a test that I was doing as if it was winter, seeing that I haven't had a things I haven't had a winter yet. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But um, yeah, so I, I basically. Um, did a few different things on that day and just wanted to really test to see if the battery uh, would last all day as well especially over the summer holidays with a with a teenager using kind of a pc and an xbox and things like that during the day um, as well as a normal day's uh, use at home and of course the evening so look out for that video when it comes out so that obviously was my third worst day of solar production since i've had the panels back in march 2022 uh, just to say that, yeah, that was a really bad day. But otherwise, the rest of the month has been pretty good. Obviously, you can see there from the bar chart, the beginning of half of the month was a lot better than the second half of the month. So what is that? how does that compare to other months? Well, as you can see here, 783 in August, and it was so similar in July. It was about 780, sort of two or so in July, uh, and really similar in June as well, and not much less in April and May. So I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, I wonder what September's gonna be like, whether we're gonna start seeing it go down slightly, but we'll have to see uh, next month. So how have we used our 783 kilowatt hours well first of all we've obviously had the eddy heating the hot water uh, that used 108 kilowatt hours over the month and there wasn't many days when it didn't kind of run or didn't fill up just the odd one especially that uh, that really bad day with a four kilowatt hour day uh, when I didn't heat the hot water whatsoever that day because there just wasn't any available uh, solar power I have been kind of stopping the eddy a little bit. I've got it kind of set up so it comes on first in the morning, so the hot water heats up first. In the summer, really, it's not as important because I think that you have, it's so hot during the day that you have a cooler kind of shower anyway. You don't have like a really hot shower like you would in the winter. Um, so I've actually been sort of stopping the eddy sometimes in the My Energy app and actually letting the battery fill up first uh, to 100% and then I kind of start the uh, eddy off charging or heating the hot water. So when it comes to the Hypervolt, you can see here, this is the graph from the Hypervolt uh, desktop uh, dashboard. Uh, you can see we've used a lot more uh, in August than ever before, really. 110 uh, kilowatt hours of electricity in August. Um, there's a really good reason for that. And that is mainly because I have bought an electric car. And I'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. Now let's have a look at the electricity that I actually used uh, during the month. So at the beginning of the month, there's a bit of a spike there, isn't there, on the third. That was when we had to fully uh, well, fill up my wife's i3, which is only an 18 kilowatt hour battery. Um, we had to fill that up. So we put 15 in that overnight. Uh, the other 
days are just bits and bobs really i think what happened towards the end of the month was there were some days when it looked like the um weather wasn't going to be brilliant to be honest and i didn't even know if the battery and the hot water was going to fill up so i basically pre-filled or set a state of charge to the give energy battery uh, overnight and that's what i started to do i started to set it to some low values sort of 30 percent 40 percent overnight just so that it stuck to that percentage at 4 30 in the morning and then it kind of carried on until the uh, sun came up and the panels took over so i started to set it really uh, now that we're on go obviously it's a cheap rate electricity so there were some days where i was using kind of eight seven eight six three uh, two a little bit of extra kind of topping up of the battery overnight that's why those spikes are there if we look at the month itself in total then we used 83.59 kilowatt hours of electricity now within here you can't see what was split between uh, the cheap uh, rate at night uh, on the seven and a half p and what was the daytime rate now obviously i'm not been using the daytime rate at 40 odd pence on go um, that we have used a little bit because i said before uh, many times what happens is when you've got a load coming in from the give energy battery um, it takes a few seconds to kind of start working or if you've got clouds coming over then it takes a few seconds to kind of um, pick up as well and things like that so you do get a little bit of use uh, during the peak hours but not a lot um, what i can tell you um, if i look at the breakdowns of the numbers then on in the daytime we used uh, nine kilowatt hours and at night time in the go hours midnight 30 to 4 30 in the morning we used 74.53 kilowatt hours i actually got that data by exporting um, downloading the csv file of my data and then just adding up all of the data uh, points between 12 30 and 4 30 in the morning for the month so what have we exported in the month of august uh, this is from the octopus energy dashboard online so this shows me the whole month so you can see from the beginning of the month or the first kind of week or so I exported quite a lot some days were 14 kilowatt hours and some 10 some 11 and then it went a lot lower from the kind of middle of the month that could have been due to weather but what I will say is from about the 25th of August, 24th of August, I actually went out and bought uh, the second electric car for the house. So I got rid of my two litre diesel uh, X3 and I've got gone for uh, an iX3, the BMW iX3. So I should be showing that off uh, in a few videos in the future. But basically what I've been doing is I've been sucking up any kind of spare solar in the afternoons once the battery and the hot water's full. So that's why I believe that the export um, throughout the end of the month has been kind of non-existent or a lot lower that you can see compared to the sort of beginning of the month. So for the whole month of August, we exported 155 kilowatt hours. Obviously a lot lower than previous months where we just exported everything in the afternoons once the battery and the hot water was done because I'd had nowhere else to put it basically. So I used to just send it out the door, uh, but now I've got the car, I can start putting it into that as well. So these are the overall stats for August 2022. These are as recorded by Octopus Energy. So on the grid import, I actually imported uh, nine kilowatt hours during the day. Uh, now I'm on go, the day rate is 40 pence. So that works out to £3.64 for the month. And on the night rate, I'm actually, I actually used 74 um, kilowatt hours at 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour and that equaled £5.59. And I exported a lot less than uh, usual, as I've said before, uh, but it was 155 kilowatt hours at 4.1 pence. 
slightly lower obviously than the uh, great rate I was getting last month when I wasn't on go at 7.5 pence for the outgoing but in total that was £6.36 that we exported so the electric spend for the day and night together was £9.23 and if you minus the £6.36 you end up with an electric spend of £2.87 for the month of August. Uh, don't forget I'm not using uh, the boiler, the boiler's turned off, I'm just uh, spending gas, uh, paying the gas standing charge and these figures don't include the standing charge which I shall come on to next. So if you're interested in the standing charge um, it hasn't changed at all going on to go, it was the same price as the uh, price cap that I was on although this obviously it, that's going to go up in October for people who haven't fixed so bringing it over the electric cost of £2.87 if you look at the standing charges the gas is actually 27.22 pence a day times 31 days in August gives us £8.44 and the electric is 37.65 a day and I've got that fixed now with go until July 2023 uh, so 37.65 pence a day times 31 days equals £11.67 pence. and if you add the two together you get £20.11 and, and if I add that to the £2.87 I actually spent on electric it gives us 22 98 for the whole month of August. It just shows how much the standing charge really is you know £20 a month for your standing charge when I sort of only used £2.87 which sounds crazy but there you go. So all in all that was August 2022, pretty good month, very happy with everything. As I say I'll do some uh, videos on the iX3 as well if you're interested in that. Thanks very much for watching, don't forget to like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.